Every moment of your life, you're answering three questions. First question is, what are you going to focus on? So the most powerful decision we make, and most of us don't make it consciously, is what are we going to focus on? We don't focus on everything. We focus on a small number of things, and that's what we experience in life. Because you could be focusing right now on the blood rushing through your left ear or the touch of your clothes against your skin, but you don't. Most of what your brain does is distort, delete, and generalize. It makes life simple. And the problem is when you distort, delete, and generalize, you miss a lot of your life. And focus right down equals feeling. Whatever you focus on, you're going to feel, even if it's not true. If I asked you, there are two things you could focus on, what you have or what's missing. Which one do you spend more time focusing on? If your brain is constantly focusing on what's missing, how can you ever sustain happiness no matter how successful you become? It is impossible. What happens when you focus on what you have? You feel alive. You feel no scarcity. You feel joy. How many of you have lots of things in your life that if you focused on it, you could feel grateful for, you could feel excited about? How many got lots of things like this now? Say, I. But it doesn't exist unless you focus on it. And we all have patterns of focus. Do you tend to focus more on what you can control or what you can't control, what's outside your control? What is someone going to feel is constantly focused on what's missing and what they can't control? Sad, frustrated, angry, depressed? So why are they still depressed? Because they're still focusing on what's missing. And they're focused on what they can't control. And I'll add one more. Do you tend to focus more on things from the past, the present, or the future? We all do all three. But if you're going to spend your predominant time and you want enjoyment, it's the present. If you want to be create a great life, it's the future. So it's a balance between the present and the future. These three patterns alone can change your whole life. The second question is, what does this mean? Because the minute you focus on something, you have to give it a meaning. Is this the end or the beginning? Is God punishing me? That's why this problem happened? Is God challenging me? Or is this problem a gift from God? See, if you think it's the end of a relationship, are you going to feel the same way, act the same way as if you think it's the beginning of a relationship? Yes or no? No. The meaning changes the answer to the third question, which is, what am I going to do? Because meaning equals emotion. Whatever you give a meaning, you're going to have a feeling. If you think God is punishing you, you're going to have a very different feeling from that meaning than you think God is challenging you or this problem is a gift from God. These three questions are happening every moment of your life. And if you're not careful, they take control of you. We are the people that create the quality of our life. we got to change what's going on here and here.